Hi, it's Alex at Seabreeze. Hope you're well. Here's a new recipe. Swordfish schnitzel Holstein. What you're going to need to make this is swordfish steaks, about 200 grams per person. And we're going to breadcrumb those. So you'll need an egg, milk, breadcrumbs and flour. And then for the garnish and for your sauce, uh, one egg per person, about 100 grams of butter, handful of capers, white anchovies and the juice of half a lemon. So get your swordfish, place it between two sheets of cling film and bash it out so it's nice and flat. So you're really treating it like you would a chicken breast but you've got this beautiful swordfish steak instead. So once you've flattened it out, take it out of the cling wrap and you can see now what sort of size you're looking for. So you've flattened it down by about half and then you're going to get seasoning. So salt and pepper. Swordfish does take a lot of seasoning. Um, the swordfish is buttery, it's delicious, but really season it well. So plenty of salt, plenty of pepper. Now what you're going to do is put your flour in a bowl, your egg and milk in a bowl, and get your breadcrumbs ready. The swordfish steak in the flour first, both sides. And then it's going to go into the egg wash, uh, both sides. And then take your swordfish steak out of the egg wash and into your breadcrumbs. So I'm using panko breadcrumbs. You can buy these from Seabreeze. So breadcrumb on both sides. Push it down into the breadcrumbs so it's nice and firm. And then you're going to need to get a large frying pan with some olive oil in. You're going to heat it up about medium to high heat. Swordfish schnitzel goes in until it's nicely browned on one side. Then turn it over and brown it on the other side. Just as it's coming up to finish, get another frying pan and then you want to get your egg on the go. So I just use a little bit of olive oil to fry my egg in. Beautiful fried egg, that's going to go on top of your schnitzel. Okay, take your schnitzel out of the big frying pan and then you're going to get ready to make your lemon caper butter sauce which is integral to the deliciousness of this dish. So put your butter in the pan, then the capers in the pan, and squeeze half a lemon juice over that as well and just until the butter is nice and foaming and it's done. So schnitzel, egg on top, white anchovies and then you're going to finish with your caper and lemon butter sauce over the top of the schnitzel. We served this with coleslaw and some mashed potato at home and I can tell you it was absolutely delicious. So quick reminder, swordfish schnitzel Holstein delicious, uh, makes a great change from having chicken, it's, I found it lighter than chicken and if you want to get all the ingredients come and see us at Seabreeze.